welcome back to another Transformation Tuesday video. If you are new here, I am Sonia and you are tuned into a spiritual series that I do on my channel every single Tuesday. First things first, have y'all noticed something different about my channel? Have you? We are at 300 subscribers. Like, y'all. Y'all been showing out, okay? That swimsuit video that I was so insecure to put up. Hello, new followers. Hello, new subscribers. Definitely thank you so much for taking a chance with me and subscribing to my channel. I hope that you enjoy all the different content that I put up. If you are new, just know that I do put up beauty videos like the swimsuit haul. I also put up vlogs and I put up spiritual videos, which are the main videos of my channel every single Tuesday, like I said before. So welcome, thank you for joining me, and I hope that you enjoy these videos just as much as you enjoy my other content on my channel. Okay, so I know we missed last Tuesday. Did y'all miss me? I miss y'all. I miss putting up a video. Um, but I'm back, okay? We are back on, on plan. We are back on schedule, all right? So as you can see by the title of this video, we're gonna be talking about celebrating growth. Now, I did wanna give you guys a little explanation about why I didn't put up last week's video. Just know that I had the video filmed and I was at the end of editing the video once I decided this cannot go up on YouTube. So let me give you a little bit of a background, okay? So last week I had a very true video. The content of it was true. The emotion in the video was very accurate. However, I wrote this video while I was in a situation, dealing with a situation, and I'll talk about that towards the end of today's video, um, where I was just really confused and emotional and I just kind of didn't have a clear mind on a situation that I was going through. So I wanted to talk about growing pains. That was gonna be the title of the video, Growing Pains. And as I filmed the video, I felt like I was saying the right things, doing the right things and expressing that current situation. But as I got to edit the footage, I was like, this is very negative. <laughs> like the video, was just not what I wanted to represent. Um, you guys know that I do take pride in being transparent about my transformation in Christ and talking about the hard times, the times where you will struggle and you, and you will suffer and you will feel pain and it's not gonna be necessarily comfortable, but it's always for your good. But this video never got to the good. Like it never like, brought the whole message together for for good and i felt like i was being very disrespectful to god um i was trying to sum up the seven months of 2019 in the title growing pains like this whole year has been about pain and i felt like i was doing an injustice to my transformation in christ but also to our lord and savior it just i couldn't put it up Okay, I felt like I needed to go back to the drawing board after I got had gotten a clear head on this situation I was dealing with. Um, after I was not emotional anymore, after I was no longer confused about the situation I was going through, and really film a video that talks about growth, the growth that I've had this year, and the true happiness that I feel in my heart and july of 2019 like i i really want to create a video that yeah touches based on some of the difficult situations that i've been through but ultimately gives god the glory in the end because he's done so much in just seven months that i'm in such awe and shock of him i literally have tissue with me because i've been so emotional all lord Oh, Lord. Like I was saying, I, I want to film a video about just the great things that he's been doing this year. Even though there's been some tough situations, he really has me in so much awe of what he's done in my life in just seven months. And I have tissue that now has red lipstick on it um, because I've been a little emotional all day because I've been so happy just reminiscing and thinking about the goodness of God and what he's done in my life. So I want this video instead to focus on growing pains. I want us to celebrate growth. I want to 
give my testimony to you guys of the things that I've been dealing with for the past seven months and just talk to you about how God has turned those things around. I really want the purpose of this video to be for those of you who are in your relationship with Christ, whether you just started your relationship with Christ or whether you're finding yourself kind of in your relationship and suffering from similar things that I might mention to give you hope and encouragement that even though we suffer, it has nothing, it's nothing compared to the glory and the blessings that you will receive and experience through Christ. And so I want to be that testimony for you guys today. I want you guys to celebrate my growth and also take a moment to think about your growth in the past seven months of this year. Anything, even the small things, whatever it is that you can attest to that was a blessing or glory from God or growth or transformation from God and take time to give him praise for that and celebrate that because those things matter. All those things mean is that God's promises are true, that everything is for the goodness of those who believe in him. So let's go ahead and start tracking my growth over these past seven months. So if you guys remember, I have constantly mentioned some words throughout the year in my Transformation Tuesday videos that are relevant to the current situation that I'm going through. So as I go through these months, I'm going to attach a word to them and I will give you the definition of those words um, just because it literally labels my experience for that month. Okay, so they're going to be seven words, one word for each month. All right, so let's start in, of course, January 2019. Now, in January, God gave Pastor Michael Todd the word release. If you don't know who Pastor Michael Todd is, definitely look him up. His Instagram is I am Mike Todd, or you can find their church's YouTube channel, Transformation Church, right here on YouTube. He is the person that influenced me to start doing these videos and talking about his sermons and how they've changed my life. So if you are a new subscriber and you're just completely unfamiliar with what I'm doing, go all the way back <laughs> to my very first Transformation Tuesdays video. I'll link that in the description box below. And um, just, you know, go through my experience with me. Go through this journey with me, starting all the way back there, all the way up to now. So anyway, God gave Pastor Michael Ty the word release. Now, this word is the most important word because this word is not just a word for January. It is the word for the rest of the year. So this year is the year of release. I'll also list his sermon about that below so you can watch that and see why that word is so important. So in January, this is the first time that I fasted as a Christian. Um, and when you fast, it's supposed to give you revelation. It's supposed to give you vision. And God revealed to me the things that I struggle with the most. He revealed to me that I struggle with a lot of fear, a lot of self-doubt, a lot of anxiety, limiting God himself, disbelief in God, and a whole lot more. I struggled with tapping into the power that God gave me, and I was trying to do so many things in my own power. If you guys remember my fasting for release video um, back in January, I was so gung-ho about everything going on, but I also talked about how I was struggling with fear and struggling with loss of sleep because of this fear and anxiety that I was suffering with. And I was trying my best to do things in my own power to, uh, you know, defeat the enemy, defeat these thoughts that he's given me in my mind and initially be able to put myself to sleep. And it was a fail. It wasn't working. So eventually I made this video called What If It's Messy Part 1 in January. And... I talked about all the situations that I had ever put myself into and I ultimately had to forgive myself. I got to a point where I realized that I put myself in these relationships and these situations that were so negative for me and I had forgiven the person that did something to me, but I hadn't forgiven myself for actually putting myself in those situations or allowing that type of behavior in my life. Um, and so I was torturing myself, pretty much. <laughs> I was torturing myself um, and I had to release that. I had to surrender that over to God and tell him, like, listen, I am 
willing to take ownership of my part in these things, but I'm also willing to forgive myself and say that these things no longer define me. I'm not defined by these negative relationships. I'm not defined by the worst moments in my life. I am defined by you, by God. And so once I did that, I kid y'all not, I have been getting the best sleep of my life ever since January. I'm, I'm like not even joking. Y'all gotta go back and watch these videos, okay? <laughs> Every video that I mentioned today, go back and watch it. I am getting great sleep just from writing a letter, being transparent, being open with you guys on YouTube about how I was feeling, forgiving myself and allowing God to really work in me to fight my battles for me, pretty much. Your girl been getting rest, okay? So now we're in February and the word for February is persevere, okay? You guys should remember that video because I spelled persevere wrong throughout the whole video, I think. <laughs> so go, definitely go back and watch that one. Um, so in the month of February, God brought light to my anger issues. I made another video entitled Making It Public where I discussed a situation that happened back in February that showed me that I really did have some deep-rooted anger issues and that I allowed certain people, especially um, abusive, misogynistic men, to trigger this anger in me because of some past situations that I hadn't emotionally dealt with. And so God brought that up. Like, I probably would have almost went to jail if I hadn't gotten my life that night. Okay, go back and watch that video, all right? But even though that situation was so traumatic for me, um, I was severely convicted during that situation. Like, I just felt awful with how I responded and lashed out at this person. And even with that, God was faithful that same night to turn that situation around for my good. So, Within that video, you'll hear me talk about that this night was the same night where I spoke in tongues the first time. Like this is the night where the Holy Spirit really moved in me and through me to begin to speak in its own spirit prayer language. And I was in shock. I was like, I ain't never done this before. What does this mean? Why is it happening now in the middle of this chaos? And like, what the, like, it was one of those moments where I was just so shocked with God. I was just like, what in the world, okay? Um, and ever since that night, my spirit has literally been craving to understand God more. Like, when you have things like that happen to you, you want to research and be like, okay, what does this mean? Like, what, <laughs> how can I do this again? Like, you really want to, like, understand what this thing is. Um, and ever since then, he definitely has given me so much knowledge about your spiritual prayer language and what it means. I do plan to do a separate video on that, but I do have to do a lot more studying before I feel confident enough to bring that to YouTube. But that will be coming up sooner or later. Okay, so stay tuned for that. So in February, he, he allowed me to see myself and see another one of my issues to uh, address it, bring light to it, to share it with you guys for another um, way of releasing. And then he also allowed his spirit to work for me in such a beautiful way. And now I do have um, the blessing to be able to speak in tongues and pray in a spirit language. So that's like one of the best things that have happened this year, if not the best thing, okay? Now we're moving on to March. And the word for March, as you guys saw, was long suffering. So March was probably, it, yeah, it is the hardest month that I've had so far. Um, in March, some of you guys may know that the mother of my niece and nephew was tragically murdered after being caught in the crossfire of a shootout. Um, so this was a random shooting in which she was unfortunately caught in the crossfire of and she was killed. Um, and so this hit the family like a dang on tornado. You know, one day somebody is here. Literally that day I had just been looking at her Instagram story, like just seeing her. Um, and then four hours later, she was gone. That's it. 
Um, and so it was a, oh, I don't even know how to describe it. It was a debilitating, just crushing experience. And at this time, I felt like everything that God had taught me, everything that I knew about him, all this encouragement and this, this, this joy, like went away. Like this was the most confusing state in my life for this year because I had learned so much about God and I had just had this experience about speaking in tongues and I felt so empowered and I, my spirit was craving God so much. And then this situation made me feel so numb. Like I was completely lost for words. I was completely lost for emotion. I was just lost. Okay, and it's not just the way that she died. It's the fact that she left behind a nine-year-old daughter and a three-year-old son. My brother is having to raise his children without a mom. And like, it was a hard, hard situation to um, overcome and I'm not even saying that everything is, is you know joyous and beautiful even until this moment I'm just speaking specifically for myself um, that thing that was rough y'all but I just remember when I was back home in Charlotte because I'm originally from Charlotte North Carolina my mom had this sticky note on her fridge and she just kept saying this scripture over and over and it's Malachi 3 6 for I the Lord do not change and she just kept saying that the Lord doesn't change the Lord doesn't change and and for me like at the time I'm hearing it and I'm like yeah he doesn't change but I'm, I'm just not I'm just not sure of why this is happening like I get that you don't change but so explain what in the world's going on because I'm confused <laughs> okay I don't understand why 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 that was my biggest thing. Why, God? Why? And it took me coming back from North Carolina, back home in Virginia, and I literally took a week off work and I just sat in my house. I sat in here and I dealt with that thing. Like me and God sat in here and we talked and I cried and I was angry and I worshiped him. And I finally got to the conclusion what that scripture meant for me is no matter what you're facing, I'm still the same God. I'm still the same God that allowed you to speak in tongues. I'm still the same God who gave you freedom to forgive yourself. I'm still the same God that has blessed you and done all these things in just March, just January and February. I'm still him. You know, this situation is not for you to understand at this moment. You just have to trust me and know that I got it under control. When I tell you in that week, he restored me so much. And again, that's not to say that everything is everything that we still don't deal with the residual fallout and the healing of going through that process. But for me, okay, he really restored my faith in him. And he healed that doubt and that confusion that I had because of that situation. So March was tough, but I pushed through that thing, y'all. I pushed through, okay? So now we're gonna go into April and April's word is prepare. So in April, this is after um, the death of my niece and nephew's mom. I had gone back to work at this time and I was getting back into the game because you guys do know I took some time off of Transformation Tuesdays during that time as well. So I was putting videos back up on YouTube and I was suddenly faced with these feelings of confusion about my purpose. I went back to work and I had to deal with the most petty situation. And it's like, after you're coming back to work, like to your regular routine after such a tragedy, the last thing that you wanna deal with is a petty situation. That is the last thing that you care about. You know, you have people who are suffering, you have children who are hurting, and the last thing that I wanna deal with is, is some unruly adults. That's just the best way I can say it, okay? Um, and I started to be kind of resentful towards God, like, God, really, like, why am I still at this job? Like, I know you told me to stay here so that you could do what you were gonna do, but what, like, is this what you gonna do? Like, I was really not feeling it. Okay, and I started to get confused about the vision that he, that he had given me before and the end of 2018. I was like, Lord, did I hear you correctly? Like, am I tripping? 
Like, is this gonna be my life? Am I gonna be stuck in this job for forever? Like, like what in the world? <laughs> and literally, I remember breaking down and crying about this on the side of my bed. And the next morning I was up and I was praying, doing my regular morning routine. And God plainly asked me a question. And he said, what is the best job that you would want to do that you would love to wake up to every morning? Like, what is the most best thing that would make you so happy for work that you would just rejoice every time you had to get up and do it? And I answered him and I said, YouTube, because it would give me the freedom to create. And I would feel, you know, free to just tap back into my creativity side and kind of do things in non-traditional ways. And y'all, clear as day. I don't know if I've ever heard God so clear. Um, he literally responded to me and said, well, focus on that. That's what he said, four words. Well, focus on that. That's what he said. And I said, oh, I said, God, are you giving me permission? Like, are you giving me a go ahead? <laughs> and that is what I chose to focus on. And so ever since then, it's like the light bulb clicked on and I made plans to make my content better. better. I made a schedule. Um, I made a plan to commit to my videos and creativity and make changes um, and involve new things. I dedicate time to focus on my channel and do things that I'm insecure about doing like putting up a whole swimsuit haul um, on my channel. I just started to dedicate my time and creativity and what God gave me permission to do, which was do YouTube. And so, um, as you guys know, I've talked about a little bit about what, what I want my future career plans to be like, but I haven't indulged in everything and I still won't, but just know that this channel is going to be everything that God told me it was going to be. So again, thank you for the 300 that are here now. We got a long way to go, but we in it, okay? So April was the time that God gave me a word. And so I've been spending time preparing for this word to come to pass. And so that's why I've made uh, plans and timelines and goals for things that I do want to happen. So in May, May was the month of obscurity and practice. I have a whole video of understanding your season of obscurity. Please make sure you go check that out on my channel. Um, but in May, I began to understand the importance of leaps of faith, even when you're terrified. Like I did a whole video also on scared, do it anyway. Okay, so failure and being judged have been fears that I've struggled with for a long time. And I needed to push myself through those fears and do things anyway. And so this season of obscurity, which I'm still currently in, is a season for me to practice at a lower level what God is going to release me into at a higher level. Um, and so it's opportunity for me to kind of get my feet wet, make some mistakes, try some things, trial and error, um, but also to learn a lot of things so that when God does raise my platform, I'm not unprepared. And this meant accepting that I won't have a lot of support or buy-in from family and friends. Um, and so I kind of struggled with that because there was a point in time where I felt like I wasn't getting support from family and friends. They weren't watching my channel. They weren't getting engaged in certain things. Me and my sister did a whole giveaway for Mother's Day that nobody entered into. Okay. <laughs> but, you know, God really helped me understand that that it is not God's will for them to be supportive in this season because he really wants me to be completely dependent on him knowing that my validation comes from him, that he's already anointed me, he's already given, given me the vision and the provisions, he's given me what I, what I need to do these things that he wants me to do and that I don't need man's validation to do those things. And so he purposely has limited support from certain people that I would expect it from just so that I can be focused on him, that I could do things anyway, even if it only got one view, one like, one comment, one subscriber, whatever. You know, even if it's something that we consider small, I'm doing it anyway because I'm in practice for the bigger picture right so i'm practicing for when i have a whole bunch of subscribers when i have a whole bunch of um input but that it also means that i have to trust god through this thing okay. 
so we're in month six now so we're in june and june is definitely the month of growth and wisdom so this month god educated me on the importance of praying for wisdom and living out that wisdom so not just praying for understanding but actually applying that understanding to your life he taught me to seek after spiritual maturity and understand that my future is not just about me but who is attached to me my wives my legacy he taught me to run from spiritual selfishness that only talked about myself and what I could consume instead of giving out. He also has t taught me the importance of giving and he's been doing that all year, honestly. He taught me to not easily be offended and to honor all people, especially when it's hard. To love all people through indifferences and understand that God's people are really an array and multitude of different type of people. God is the ultimate advocate for diversity and nobody's going to be the same. You might be similar, but you have your differences and that you have to love people through your differences. So June was a month where he really rewarded me, y'all. He really rewarded me in June. So I have been paying my tithes consistently since to the end of 2018. And June was a month where I really needed some financial help only because some things got mixed up with my finances. So I had to pay more for something that I wasn't expecting. And y'all, he really blessed me, okay? My coworker actually blessed me with some groceries just because I had been talking to her about what was going on. And she found it in her heart to take me to the grocery store and buy me groceries for the month. Like who does that but God? Okay, so he has shown his faithfulness and it really taught me that God is truly my provider. And now because of that situation, I can trust that he's truly my provider and that I really don't have to worry about what I'm going to eat, what I'm going to drink or what I'm going to wear because he literally does provide for me. And that was just another way of him showing me like, look, I got you. You ain't been doing all this in vain. I got you. You can trust me. And the biggest thing that happened in July is, of course, I got rebaptized. I made a whole video about getting rebaptized on Father's Day and just making a declaration of God in my life again um, in my adult age. Now that I understand my relationship God, with God so much better than I did when I was younger, um, making that declaration in front of my church and in front of people who did not know me. I didn't have any family or friends there because I wanted to do that with just me and God. And I put that experience up on YouTube and I just really celebrated the fact that God gave me the courage and the strength to make that step in front of people and just say, listen, I love God. You don't love God? What's wrong with you? I love God. You don't love God? What's wrong with you? No, <laughs> I'm playing, but... It just was a good month for me to celebrate God and to celebrate what he's been doing so far in my life. So now we get to July. In July, um, I was just given this word in the middle of my sleep the other night, which was the word redemption. And this month is a month that has been very interesting already like we it is we practically out of the month you know these months is flying past like that but this month i lost a friend they didn't die we're just not we're not like this no more okay um and when i was writing this these notes i kind of like went back and forth on whether i wanted to really indulge in this topic but i feel like i have to um i feel like it's only right that i mention a little bit about um, the situation because I feel like it would be wrong for me to not share that when God warns us about something that just like his promises are going to come true these warnings are going to come true as well and we need to take heed when he starts telling us about certain things so if you do go back and watch Pastor Michael Todd's first video about release for 2019 one of the biggest things that he talked about is how God will move people out of your life that can't go with you into your next season. And we've all heard that before. You know, people can't go with you. They can't grow with you. And I've heard that for years and I've had the same friends for years. And now it's finally time for me to face that that is the truth. Okay. So I won't talk too much about the situation. I'm not going to get too much into the details. 
Um, but I pretty much had to walk away from someone in a situation that I had no closure or no like real resolution about like me and this person have not really sat down and had a heart to heart about a situation but god was like i need you to go ahead and move like i need you to go ahead and okay um and i literally was confused about this situation and when i filmed the video that i was supposed to put up last week growing pains i was in the middle of dealing with this situation trying to figure out like lord what is this situation what do you want me to do in this situation what how do you want me to handle this situation and i felt conviction about something but i was confused about the conviction and God is not a God of confusion. So he literally had to walk me through the process of understanding what, what he was trying to do. Um, and so I couldn't put the video up last week about growing pains because in the video, I was very apologetic and self-loathing and feeling guilty about something. And God was like, no, you've missed my point. That's not what I want you to focus on. I'm trying to get you to focus on something else. So if I had put that video up, it would have manifested those feelings out to you guys. And that was not the message that God was trying to put out. So I took some time to really work through this situation with God. And I asked God, God, I need a definite word about what you want me to do. Because I know what my flesh wants to do. But I want to know what you want me to do. Because I ain't trying to get in trouble. I don't work too hard, okay? And I ended up telling God, and this is so important why sometimes, why people tell you like there's times where you need to declare something out loud, like project it out. And I remember saying out loud to God, I said, God, I'm okay with walking away from this person if that's your will. Like I'm okay with walking away from this situation without a conversation, without closure, without anything just trusting it that's what you want me to do and be okay because even me toying with the idea of walking away from this friendship gave me peace and i was like i gotta pay attention to that that that's important okay so god gave me confirmation so many times like he gave me confirmation through sermons he gave me confirmation through people where we would randomly start talking about similar situations that they've gone through and he also gave me confirmation um through other friends who were kind of on the outside looking in and had more clear vision about what's going on so needless to say i made a decision to walk away from a friendship because i chose god I chose the peace and the things that I decided to fight for these past six months. I trusted God at, with this pattern that I've seen. So if you've really been listening to how I've described every single month, you should see and recognize a pattern. There's been something significant ha that has happened that could be seen as negative that God has ultimately turned around for my good and brought growth and brought wisdom and brought love and allowed me to trust God and understand God more for who he really is. And so I couldn't look at this situation knowing everything that had happened from January to June and act like this didn't look similar to my past couple of months. Um, and so instead of focusing on the painfulness of the situation, the painfulness of the reality of the situation, I took a step back and said, God, like, you're in control. If this is your will, who am I to fight that? With all the things that you've shown me this year, all the ways that you've worked things out unexpectedly, all the ways that you've kept me speechless and in awe of who you are and what you do, I can't look at this situation because of who it is and because of how long we've been friends in our history and act like this doesn't look like everything else. <laughs> so I decided to surrender all of my feelings and, and all of my guilt and all of my self-loathing and, and really understand what the conviction was about and just tell him, okay, I took my hands. I literally did like this and took my hands off the situation. And y'all, when I tell you the level of peace that I have in my life and in my heart right now, I wouldn't give that up for nobody. Like I have worked so hard and I've sacrificed so much for the over the past seven months and we're not even out of July yet to get to a point where I sleep beautifully at night 
where I feel so in love with God that my heart jumps with joy, that I just feel so happy. Like this is the first time in my life where I can say I'm happy, period. Like I'm happy, period. Yeah, I could say that I don't have this or I haven't reached this point in my life and blah, blah, blah. But like I said before, if God's warnings, the things that he warned us about took place, then how much more are his promises gonna take place, y'all? Like, there are so many things that I'm trusting God for right now that all of these situations that have taken place every month show just confirms that's gonna happen. And it's gonna be lit. <laughs> like, that's gonna happen. And it's gonna be so lit. And he gonna render me speechless once again. He gonna blow my mind once again. And I'm gonna fall even more in love with him once again because God is just lit. Like, he's just, he's just good, y'all. And, you know, until you go through some things, and, and let's be clear, you know, if, if you're beginning in your spirituality, God understands that he needs to earn your trust. He knows that. He knows that it's hard to just listen to somebody else's story and just believe unless you've got going through something similar. So when you start going through things, understand that he has to use something for you to begin to see his glory and to trust him and see his goodness. There has to be situations that take place that he cannot just deliver you from, but take you through so that he can show you, look, I got you. I got you and you're going to be good. And that's just how I feel. And, you know, regardless of, you know, the situation, I know she's going to be good too. And I'm going to be good. And so there's no animosity, no hurt, no anger. I'm completely at peace. Even without having a conversation with this person, I'm at peace because I know it's what God wanted. Like I'm, he, he's given me his word that this is what he wanted. And, and there's just going to be so much blessings that will come from that. You know, and, and I don't know what he's doing in her life and how this will affect her life. But I know he's a good God. And I know he's working for her good, just like he's working for mine. And so I'm sure that eventually this thing will turn around for her good as well. One of the big things that I love about this whole situation is God told me, he said, I want you to go back and watch Pastor Michael Todd's videos from the beginning of the year talking about release, just to see if you on track, like just to see if the stuff I told you that was gonna happen has happened. And y'all, I watched all five of his videos on the release series and sis i'm right on time god ain't missed the beat he ain't missed the beat honey and we just in july he ain't missed the beat you know seven is the the number of completion i'm feeling about complete <laughs> now i don't know what's gonna happen between uh the end of july and december but we on track it's like he gave me the blueprint in january and he and i lived it out i lived it out and i was able to go back in july and look at those videos from january and be like yep that happened yep i went through that yep i had to do that yep i healed from that yes you know <laughs> and it's just such a a beautiful thing because it, it just makes me trust even more that god is a god of truth that i can trust his word and i can trust that he when he says things will happen they're gonna happen and even if there are things that we can we might see with our understanding as negative just knowing that there's going to be, there's something on the other side of that situation. So just, just work through it and trust that he's with you right there working through it. So guys, that's pretty much an update of everything that's been going on uh, in these past seven months. And I'm celebrating every single thing by giving God the glory. Today was a beautiful day in church and I am just celebrating his love in my life and how much I am in love with God. I made it through the video without crying, so thank you, okay? Be glad. I do not want my makeup to get messed up, sis, okay? But I did want to share this one devotional that God gave me um, this last month and I, when I was going through that situation. It says, for the moment, all discipline seems painful rather than pleasant, but later it yields the peaceful fruit of righteousness to those who have been trained by it. And that's Hebrews 12, 11. And that's so true. When we're going through things, it sucks. <laughs> it sucks. It's uncomfortable. It's painful. You don't understand it. But later on, once you get through it, you get over that hump and you understand what it was for and you have clarity, you are at such peace. 
you guys and you're so right with God. That's what righteousness means. It just means right with God. And that's that's priceless. Like once you get that level of peace in your heart, you don't want to sacrifice that for nothing or nobody. I need my peace and I need my sleep. I need my rest. Okay. And if you you risking my sleep, honey, you definitely got to go. That's dead for me. All right. But yeah, you guys, I made this video in hopes that it would encourage you to just hang in there. And if you've seen yourself going through a lot of negative stuff, take the time to write down the good. Like really go back from the beginning of the year to now and, and seek the good things that God has done and the growth that he's given you and the lessons and the revelation and the wisdom and the word and all the things that he gives us. Focus on those things because those things help you focus on God and the bigger picture. And I think that's the most important thing that we as Christians have to remember that it's such a bigger picture. It's not just about what's right in front of us. It's not just about what we're going through. It's about his kingdom as a whole and who he's creating you to be so that you can actually accomplish the purposes that he's put you in this world to accomplish. And so I hope that this was inspirational to you guys. Um, it's definitely what God wanted me to tell you guys, not growing pains, but celebrating growth and understanding that through uncomfortable situations, through painful situations and even through hurt god is using all those things to mold you into the person that he wants you to be to your best spiritual self to your happiest self to your most peaceful self that's that unspeakable joy and peace that he talks about god it is real it's real y'all and so i just want to take a moment to say our closing prayer i didn't write a closing prayer out today because i done ran out of space in my notebook um, so I'm going to just pray from the heart right now and I hope you guys join me in bowing your heads and closing your eyes. Dear God, thank you. Lord, thank you so much for your word, for growth, for truth, and for transformation, God. A lot of times we just want to focus on the negative, the hurt and the pain, and we miss the lesson. Lord God, I'm asking that you open our eyes to the bigger picture, Father God. Open our eyes to see what it is exactly that you're trying to teach us and who exactly you want us to become and celebrate and relish in those beautiful moments, Lord God. I'm asking, Lord God, that you teach us how to not let our peace be consumed by temporary situations, Lord God, and by temporary people that you're asking us to move forward from, Father God. I ask that we trust you, Lord God. We trust to surrender and sacrifice things that are hard, Lord God. And we also trust that you will deliver us from, but most of the time, lead us through tough situations that will grow us, Lord God, and make us into the person that we need to be, Father God. I thank you, Lord God, for being a true God, being a God that we can trust, being a God that warns us, Lord God, being a God that makes his promises come to pass, being a God that blesses us for our faithfulness, Lord God, and being a God that actually earns our trust, Lord God. I thank you, Father God, for being who you are and everything that you do for us and everything that you do in us. Thank you for showing us you. In return, we get to see ourselves, Lord God. Thank you for teaching us how to love you so that we can love ourselves and love others, Lord God. You have been an amazing guide for the past seven months, Lord God, and really all of my life. But I'm just now being able to see truly who you are. And if this is the things that you do in just seven months, Lord God, I'm excited to see the things that you will do for the rest of my life. But Lord God, it's not just about me and my own dreams and my own th desires that I want. It's about my whys. It's about my legacy. It's about the people that you have assigned to me, the nations that you have assigned to me, Lord God, the people that you have brought to this YouTube channel, Lord God, to represent you to them. I pray, Father God, that everybody that's watching this video and anybody who has ever watched my YouTube videos and anybody who is subscribed to my channel, Lord God, that they will experience this level of peace that you've given me, this level of understanding, this level of joy, Lord God, and this level of trust and love relationship with you. Continue to use me, Father God, to be a testimony and example. Make me the miracle that they are wishing to see, Lord God, so that they can trust and believe that if it happened for me, just regular old me, 
that it can happen for them too, Lord God, because you love them just like you love everybody in this world, Father God, and that we all deserve to be our best selves in peace and happiness and in joy. Lord, thank you so much. I can't thank you enough. I am deeply in love with you. And in your name, Jesus, I do pray. Amen. All right, you guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, thank you, thank you, thank you to all of my 300 subscribers. We are still on the road to 500 by September, and I have the faith that we will get there, be past 500 by the time we get to September. Continue to check into my video as I will be doing more beauty videos and more vlogs on my channel. You guys, make sure you follow me on Instagram. My Instagram page is always in the description box below. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment if you like, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.